Hello and welcome to Primary Hands On Science. In this video, we will see how to make simple orary. Orary is the name given to the working model of the solar system. In Science Museum, you may find really complex orary made by watchmakers. The one we will make today is really simple and will help you to understand the motion of Sun, Moon, and Earth in the solar system. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like and leave a comment. It will encourage me to make more videos for you. Let's get started. You will need template which is given below. Also you need scissors, one puncher, push button, big one, as well as heavy stick or some type of glue stick. Now to make already, first you need to cut this template which just to save time, I already cut and kept it ready. Now, after cutting this, you need to make hole in these. So here, the sun, this is quite thick and well, if the children cannot make this sun's ray like thing, you can make a round one. Edge. Now, you can just make it half and cut the center one, not totally punch. You punch a little bit so that when you open up it will be full. Same way you should punch the side off and you need not have to do so long you can cut accordingly. Same way the, the heart you can cut a hole in the center which will be quite easy and move on you can also reduce a bit as required and then make a punch. Now, you just have to add this punch. So here, you can put the sun on this strip. And put this, this will act. You just check whether this rotates or not. Now, when you are putting the earth, you put along with it the moon's ray. So here, you take a push, another push button. Put this along with it and complete the push button and again you check whether it's moving or not. Now the moon, we got a small moon, we will paste in the third one, the arrow head. In this we will put a little gum, we will take this paste it here. Well, here we wait that push button should be attached properly. So now we got simple ordinary done. So here it is. So this is sun, this is earth, this is moon. So here it can rotate. Now we see moon goes around the earth and complete one month. One lunar month or not, which is about 28 days. Now, you can make students find out which is full moon, which is new moon, which is eclipse, etc. from here. Sunlight when it hits the moon and we can see the moon, that is full moon, whereas in other phases, sun does not go. But when moon comes the opposite side, sun's light falls in one side, but the other side we see the moon totally black because this side no light falls and so we call it a new moon day or Amavas. So this we can find out easily. Now full moon day, if sun, earth and moon in say, same line, its shadow falls on moon, this becomes totally dark and we call lunar eclipse. When it happens opposite side, it masks the light of sun and whoever is this part of, of the world can't see sun briefly and so we call solar eclipse which happens in new moon day. So this way they can easily understand eclipse and they can have fun together. Look out for the other hands-on primary science video. Instruction is given below to share with students and you can check it out and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Happy teaching!